Report. This is our weekly update. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, American Rescue Plan or the new stimulus package and how it will benefit cities and towns. I know it's uh, been in the press a lot and there's a lot of confusion. Uh, I want to clear up some of it. It's We don't have a $30 million check to put in, in our checking account. Um, the money comes, we have uh, over $30 million available to us, but there's a lot of restrictions on what we can do with it. I can't use it to pay pensions. I can't use it to bring back workers or buy fire trucks. Uh, we can only recover from uh, lost revenue and expenses for related to COVID. Um, we're analyzing it now to see how it can help us, but it's not going to plug budget holes or any of that. Um, there is a significant portion of it available for infrastructure, sewer and water uh, um, improvements and um, new infrastructure. And Warwick's infrastructure is in horrible shape. We have a major water line going under 95. It carries all the water to us as a major artery. It's currently on a bypass pipe. Um, it's something that needed to be addressed a long time ago, and we have to get going on that. Um, so as I said, we're analyzing it. We're going to see how it affects the city. But I don't want you to think we have $30 million to spend because we just don't. It's not true. This week, we've started our meeting with all the department directors uh, with their budget proposals. Um, it's a long process. It's a fluid process. Like I said uh, it, about the American Rescue Plan, it may affect some of this a little bit. Um, we lost a lot of revenue last year due to um, hotel and restaurant taxes. Uh, you know, people weren't out there. We get a, per, a percentage of that tax. Um, we, we lost for the pool, the skating rink. We you know a lot of revenue from that. So we're have to working that all out. Um, the process is going to take a while. We're going to sit down. We're going to, I'm going to craft a budget with my finance director and uh, you know key personnel. Um, we're going to look at. You know, we're bringing back the, the uh, laid off workers because we really needed to service the city. Um, we don't want it looking like it was last year. We're struggling now. We just don't have enough personnel. That's all going to be a part of the budget. And we're going to make the budget, you know, affordable for the people um, of the city. Um, I'm not looking to put any in additional tax burden on uh, the residents. We're currently on the second dose phase of our vaccination clinics. Um, we're, we had three weeks of Moderna and one week of Pfizer, so we have to do two in one weekend. And um, we're also finishing up the teachers. School departments is really taking care of that by themselves with the, with the fire department. Um, our fire department, our volunteers, our city works have done an incredible job throughout this clinic, but it's ending now. Um, it's, it, the state is uh, opening other sites um, that, that aren't particular to a municipality. Um, I actually got my own shot yesterday from CVS. I didn't get it through, done for the city. My wife went online and she, you know, through a lot of work, she was able to get me an appointment. So um, I, I read last night that, um, that, that Walmart is going to start doing it. So that should really, you know, increase the availability. So get out there, start registering, you know, go on state sites, go on CVS, Walgreens, wherever you can find it, and just get your shots and stay safe. talk about the pool and I'm going to talk about it again this week. Um, I think I informed you last week that we found another large pump that had failed. Um, it was uh, the wrong pump was installed. I, I mean it wasn't the proper personnel but whatever you know we're, we're not going to look for the mistakes of the past. Um, the pump's been ordered. Uh, the, the contractors are doing the work. There's a couple of different contractors doing it. No, no one does all of this kind of work and uh, you know I push as hard as I can um, they get the work done as fast as they can. They work when they can. Um, and you know, I'm still hoping to have it open in May. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fluid situation. I'll, I'll keep you informed. Maybe someday something will be done quicker than we hope. Uh, you never know, but we're, we're on it. We're working on it. I'm working on a plan. Everyone remembers the Appenog uh, circulators last year. The, the project with the, uh, the landscaping and all that. Um, I'm meeting with the DOT. Um, I'm trying to do something about the uh, bins in Appenag that no one likes. Um, I'm working on a recreation committee. I'm putting that together. I should have that done in the next week or two. Uh, I want to explore different ways to redo our facilities because they're, you know, they're not what they should be. They're not even close to what they should be for the residents. 
Um, I'm also, also going to be, be putting together an advisory committee on education. Uh, we have to start getting discussions going about how we can improve the schools and how the city can help with that. Um, so like I said, right, you know, I have other things I can work on now that everything is relaxing with COVID. The federal government and the state have been very optimistic about people getting vaccinated um, in the not too distant future. So it looks like there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, Gatsby Day's parade is on. I'm really happy about that. Um, hopefully we're going to have the fireworks. We're going to do everything we do in war to have fun in the summertime. Um, we've been cooped up a long time and, and you know, we're going to get out. We're going to be together. We're going to celebrate. And I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm hoping the weather changes pretty soon. A little bit of snow is predicted tomorrow, but I think that's just a bump in the road. Um, better days are coming to work and, and I'm really looking forward to them. Thank you.